Hey, how's it going guys? 1FO here, and today I'm going to be showing you the 10 newest scripts for Mining Simulator 2. And as you can see, I only loaded up my favorite ones to show you, but if you're looking for all the scripts, the links are in the description. So yeah. Now I'm going to start off on Xerox, which is the best script for this game right now. And it just got updated recently as well, so it has auto mine and a smart auto rebirth. And what that's going to do is only sell your blocks when you get enough coins to rebirth from it. So you can get like on the leaderboards of rebirth within a couple days. And yeah, so I'm going to show you that in action right here. The first thing you're going to want to do to set this up is come over here to the farming tab. And then scroll down a little bit until you see location. And then here I'm going to set the location to the summer fair because that's where I am right now. And when you're watching this video, I don't know if this event will be over. But you could do this anywhere. As you can see, every single area is going to be here. So I'm going to click that. And then since I have the infinite bag, I'm just going to keep this on auto rebirth. So click this and then right here, come up to the auto mine. And once you do this, just jump into a hole. Let's just go into this one right here. I don't know if this is deep enough. Okay. So it's not really that deep. doesn't really matter. Then you want to come over here to protection. And this is the tab where you're going to set up the things you could do after rebirthing. So I'm going to teleport back here after I rebirth. Let's set my mining point here and also protect me from collapsing. So whenever the mine collapses, it's going to save me and I'm going to come right back here. So yeah, here we go. Now I'm going to come back over here to the farming tab and this time I'm just going to select auto mine. And then here we go. It's just going to start working now. And then it's going to rebirth us and teleport us right back to our hole. And then we're right back here again. And yeah, so really cool stuff there. It's just basically an infinite rebirth glitch to be completely honest, because as long as you have this and if you don't have the site that I'm using, let's say you just have like your default tools or maybe a rebirth tool come over here to i think it's on the protection never mind it's on the gears tab of course it's on the gears tab so right here auto buy tools auto equip best tool this is the most useful thing in the game because i mean you could literally just free to play and get thousands of rebirths in just a couple days overnight and yeah so here you go you can automatically enchant the gear if you have some ores for it speaking of ores let me actually disable this auto farm really quickly over here disable it and go back up to the surface and i'm going to show you what you could do with ores so right here i can select an ore so for example let's go to my inventory right here i only have sandstone i literally have nothing else so let's say i was trying to forge my pets into a shiny and i don't have any fire shard let's scroll down a little bit there is fire shard somewhere around here here it is it's just one word fire shard click this click auto ore is so fast it's going to teleport you all around the map to all the fire shards that exist so it's going to bring us here and it does look kind of weird because it has to bring you like across the map through basically space but yeah here we are it's just going to come over here and collect fire shard for me now so as you can see 18 21 24 i think this is kind of boosted because of my scythe we have ore duplicator i don't even have this so i kind of need some unobtainium let's get some of this refresh it how much did I need? Let's just check again, just to give you guys an example. So I need 50 and I already have nine, 12. It's just really, really fast. But yeah, and you actually have to disable the other one. So if you click on it, it's going to disable that and then only go for this. So yeah, as you can see, I just reached my goal. I only needed 50 and I left it on for maybe, what was that? Like 20 seconds and I already have 57 and 90 fire shard. So of course that is going to be slightly boosted because of my upgrades, but here we go. Boom, enchanted. So yeah, really, really easy. I think that's all you have to do for the ores. There's nothing else you could do there. And again, this is not the only script that I like to use. This is just, in my opinion, the best one. But you can also use like Saza Hub. I think Vestra and Saza have keys on them. But this one right here doesn't. You come over here, as you can see, same thing. I was actually doing this earlier. First ore, fire shard, auto mine for selected ores. And then it's just going to teleport you there. You have your auto mine, auto rebirth. And they actually have an advanced AI uh, rebirth farm, which is the same thing as this one. But it does not automatically buy pickups, pickaxes, and backpacks. So kind of a disadvantage. I think you have to do it right here. Yeah, just in my opinion, this is a lot more of a clean GUI. You could just use it a lot more easily. And yeah, so coming back over here, I'm going to go to the eggs and pets tab now. So right here, I'm going to select the... Let's just do the season two eggs because I think I already have them unlocked. Auto open egg. Okay, I guess it doesn't do the ones that are in your battle pass. That kind of makes sense. Or the season pass. This is not Fortnite. So yeah, right here, let's go for example, the slime egg, which I think is the new egg. I could be wrong. Auto open egg. 
gonna sell your money, teleport you over here, and then there we go. So yeah, it's not the new egg. I don't know why it's at the very bottom. But yeah, there we go. So you have the slime egg that gets some stuff from there. Yeah, does that actually does this open a lot faster than normal? I can't really tell. Let's just see. So I'm gonna open up this egg. Yeah, I think it is faster. Yeah, it's faster than just using this automatic thing, so. It does help out a lot, I guess, in the long run, if you're trying to farm for some pets, that would help out a ton. And then you can automatically equip your best pets, which, if you're wondering, is just the same thing as clicking this button right here. But it's going to do it automatically. And I did get these pets completely, basically for free, just from using these scripts. I leveled up my battle pass, got this stuff done, got all these pets. And then right here, if you're trying to troll someone, you could do something like this. Let's just type haunted soul and click enter. And then now it's going to look like I opened up a haunted soul egg, but I didn't, of course, because I don't have one now. But yeah, so pretty funny if you're just trying to do that. You can also do times three. So let's try that again. Haunted soul. Then we're going to get three haunted souls. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, you get the idea. Here's all the stuff. You could delete it. Just a ton of different stuff you can switch around with this. You can do no hatch animation, which is actually really, really useful because I think you could just like... Like maybe if your computer's running a little slow, that'll actually help out. Now I've actually racked up some crates. Let me get some more crates or yeah, I'm just going to get some more crates from the season pass so I can show you. So yeah, here we go. I have 95 crates now and I'm going to come over here to the crates tab and now I'm going to select season two crate and then I'm going to click no crate animation and auto open crates. So no crate animation, auto open crates. And then there we go. Literally every single crate that I had just got opened. So right now it's opening them in the background so my game's going to be kind of laggy. But as you can see these are just filling up like completely if I just come back here now. Let's see if it refreshed. So yeah. Did, um, I did end up getting the Patriot, Hexa, Cosmic Tear, all this type of stuff just from using these and also from the Battle Pass or Season Pass. And if you want to buy crates for example I don't think you can buy them just straight from here. But if you click this right here let's do... Yeah, this is the uh, count, so I'm going to do five, and then I'm going to automatically buy, just buy a rare crate, so auto buy crate. There we go, add it to my inventory, and then I just click continue. Oh my god, okay, so I guess I got like five, 176, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, I didn't really spend that much, so I'm going to come over here now, and instead of selecting the other thing, I'm going to do rare crate now, auto open crate. Then remove animation. And then it just dumped out some, I hope. I don't think this one's working. Okay, there we go. So it's just going to dump out all those crates for me. And put all of those items, as you can see. This is what it looks like. It's going to spin them all at once. If you ever open up crates normally, you know how annoying it is. Because you can't actually skip it, I don't think. So you just have to wait for this to go through. And then once this all finishes, there we go. And then looking a little bit more down, you have your automatically claimed quest rewards, which is your index quest, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe the quest for the achievements tab. Let's go check. Go back here, go to the main island. And here we are. Let's just see. So the achievements is somewhere over here. Yep, here it is. So achievements, these are all your quests you can claim. So for example, I have this one right here, Amazing Fan. Come over here. I'm going to click auto claim, auto claim quest, quest rewards. Come back over here. Okay, I guess this one doesn't work. Maybe it's some other type of quest. Shout out to this guy for watching the video. Shout out to him for being a fan, just existing. And by the way, all these pets right here that you see that are not equipped right now, I'm actually going to be giving them away. So I'm going to be giving away these exotic Hixariums, the Shattered Souls, the Secret Lord Shock, Secret Dog Cats, just all this stuff right here in my Discord server. So if you ever see an announcement in there, it's going to say like giving away... I'll just say like giveaway for seven days and then everyone can join and then whoever wins wins. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm probably going to be giving away everything that's above like 1000 power because it can help out new players. And yeah, so moving on over here, down here, this is actually a really, really useful farm. So if I come over here to the summer island, this is extremely good for getting the ticket items. So everything in this event shop over here, if you don't know already, is going to be bought with tickets. So I could buy a Almighty Flamingo, which is actually a really, really good pet. Come over here. I'm going to go to, I think it's around this area. And then you just want to click auto fish. There we go. Auto fishing is going to be happening right now. I think you have to have your fishing rod out. Disable this. Go near the shore, maybe. Probably that makes a lot more sense. Over here, auto fish. 
And I think these fish are just getting put into my ticket counter. Yeah, so there we go. I got a rock fish. So it's going to have to be kind of slow or else you're going to get kicked. There we go. So yeah, pretty cool stuff over here. And then there's also, let me reset my character. There's another thing that is actually the guessing. So you could do auto guess. So let's come over here again to this thing right here. Auto guess. It's going to automatically guess these for you in the chat. So let's see if this comes up. And on this GUI that I made right here, you could see there's also an auto ticket farm, which is going to do everything that you see here all at once. So there we go. Correct glitch bunny guess. So there we go. It's just going to keep doing that. And then that's all their stuff there. And at the end of this video, I guess I could show you guys this auto ticket because it's actually pretty cool. But yeah, moving on over here to the boost section. Of course, this is also like your auto factory where you can convert your coins into gems. And then right here, as you can see, craft number, I could put in, for example, one thing and then I could just put in cyber tokens or coins and then do that stuff. But instead, I'm going to show you guys this right here. So at the bottom left, you could see I'm almost running out of this boost. So if I come over here, I'm going to scroll down Omega Lucky and then let's do auto use boost. So there we go. I have. Oh, my God. OK, I think I have to just click, keep clicking this. So you have 45 hours. OK, let's also do super lucky. See how many hours I can get? 75 hours. Let's do lucky, maybe. That's going to be a lot. Yeah, 3.4 hours. And then we also have these boosts right here, which I'm going to save because I need to do some auto farming later. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff on this GUI. Again, there's also basic things like teleports. You have your you teleport to any island that can go, for example, unlock every layer, go to the overworld, which is pretty fast because you can't actually teleport any other way. The developer of this game is watching this right now, trying to ban me. I have a suggestion. Just add a teleport game pass. People will probably buy it. Then yeah, so coming over here, final tab, this is the servers tab, and you have some stuff over here for just basic stuff. You can automatically server hop for, I think it's going to save all your settings, so you don't need to worry about your auto farm getting deleted if you have this in your auto execute folder. Server, server hopping on the collapse is going to completely optimize your auto farm completely, like you're going to be skipping that whatever five minute timer it is when in between each thing. And then of course you have some basic stuff like visuals for just or ESP, I guess, if you want to do that. Statistics, here's all the stuff I have so I can rebirth. I have the amount of blocks until collapsing. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. This right here, made five rebirths, is since you executed the GUI, how many rebirths you've gotten. So if I rebirth again, boom, now it says six. We have webhooks, so you could put a Discord webhook URL here if you really want to. And it's going to send you updates to your Discord server about everything that's happening. It's going to tell you, like, what pet you unlock or like what delay or the tracker. It's going to tell you what type of stats you have on your account. Miscellaneous. Here's all the GUIs you can open. Basic things like infinite jumping, no clipping. No clipping is just going through walls, so I don't know why you'd want that. So yeah, of course, credits to Xerox. If you want to join their Discord server, it's discord.gg slash Xerox. And yeah, so really cool stuff there. I'm going to put this down a little bit and show you guys the Vestra hub. So this is actually a really simple script. It's just all mainly on this uh, main page right here. You have your advanced selling and rebirthing. I'm going to do the surface. So I'm just going to stand right here. Let's do auto farm layer method, which is going to do a layer around you. And then let's do, let's do something like this and then this and then this. And then as you can see, my blocks are filling up. Of course, it's really, really slow because of the me being like on this little section right here. Let's jump down and it crashed okay well anyways this is what it's gonna do so you have to wait like all this time like well, this is actually going pretty fast Jeez. okay right back here let's do this let's do block aura and then turn off all this stuff or actually leave it on advanced rebirth and sell and then there you go so as you can see it's gonna mine this entire like few layers that are right below me and it's actually a lot faster so imagine if I was on my other island, for example, let's teleport over there. Go to the teleport section and teleport to which one was I in? I think it was like the summer island. Miscellaneous summer fair. Here it is. So here we go. Come over here. Go back here and test for the summer fair, which I don't actually see. Anyways, I'm just gonna do this right here. Fast mine, block aura. And then there we go. So now it's going to automatically auto farm the same way that the Xerox script did. 
but I don't think this one has a protection for when it uh, collapses and it's not actually using the advanced cell. Let's set this to, uh, I don't really see, oh, I think it's over here maybe. No, I'm not seeing the summer fair in here. Maybe I'm blind. You guys can let me know in the comment section, but I do not see a summer fair in here. But if there is one, then okay, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, so there it is. That's all the stuff you could do in this script. Oh, okay, I'm kind of stupid. So here it is right here. There's an entire section for summer. They have like location for fish so I can go to the ocean over here, the river, the pond, all that type of stuff. You have your auto tile helper. And I guess this is a good time to show you guys the hub that I made. So right here, really simple. Click this. It's going to be really, really fast. And if you look in the chat, this is all it's going to do is it's going to catch fish for you. And then at the same time, it's going to be playing the game. So I actually got like 250k tickets in like 10 minutes with this. And I got a bucket of shells, I think it's called. Yeah, this one right here, bucket of shells. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Again, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you can. And as always, peace. Oh,